Hello my friends. Today we are at Morrow Mountain State Park. We haven't been here in a while. It's probably last winter, probably around February, and uh, I took you through here and there was no leaves of course, no canopy. But this today we're gonna I'm gonna show you that and uh, it's a lot of shade, which is good because today's gonna be in the 90s, high humidity. So come join me. All right, so let's go. This little guy here is getting his breakfast. Saw him on the trail. Hey, buddy. There he is there. You getting your breakfast? Yeah. You can eat up. There you go. Didn't want to walk on you. You're a cutie. You go ahead and eat your breakfast. So I'll have a link to my other excursion out here when it was still winter time with no leaves. But this shows you the canopy here. And uh, it's pretty thick, as I suspected. And... We might see some deer out here. I did see a little family cross the road as we entered the state park and uh, going into the woods here. So could run into them, don't know. But um, yeah, we'll see what we can find. We're gonna go deep, deep, deep into the woods and try to go to the river too. Um, there's one pathway as we get uh, deeper into the woods that goes to the river, which is like the Petey River. And uh, it's really nice out here. And as I said before, um, you already, in this, and also more mountain, this area, just outside of Albemarle, is known for various sightings of Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch. So um, you never know what you might find. Like I said, last time we were here, we did find footprint and I'll uh, share that with you as well. So let's head on into the woods. It's got great markings too on the main paths. So, as we make our way through the forest, you will see like burnt logs. That's actually controlled burns they do to thin out the trees, the foliage, which is very important to uh, prevent fires from going haywire. Um, so they do control burns quite often out here. So you will see uh, logs and stumps that have been set on fire on purpose. Just contain the foliage and the amount of growth of trees and everything throughout here. And Morrill Mountain State Park is probably just about an hour outside of Charlotte. So um, if you ever wanna come up here, I'll leave links in the description of how to get here and to visit if you want to do a hike. They have camping here as well, both primitive and I believe they have hookups too. And you have to make a reservation for camping, so just be aware of that. Um, the PD River is close by, so there is also boating, kayaking, and they have a separate area for that as well. Um, but yeah, it is a humid, humid morning here. It's probably about 10.30 and uh, yeah, if you want to get out of town and enjoy this, this is just an awesome area to come. Just get out of the city, or just get out in general. Come to Morrow Mountain State Park and uh, enjoy the scenery. But like I said, 
you, you, you get a lot of people who come out here, such as myself. I do it sometimes. You never know what you might find. But they do some squatching, so they come out here and investigate. So, you know, as myself, I'll do that too. But I, I don't anticipate anything. Uh, it'd be cool if, it, if something does happen. I can catch it on video. That'd be awesome. Uh, hopefully without <laughs> the jittery and blurry screen. Um, so, but yeah, it's a lot of fun coming out here and uh, just enjoying nature in general. And like you saw with that little turtle, you know, finding stuff like that. That's just what makes these little hikes fun. Also, I've said before, make sure you have comfortable shoes. I've got my Merrells on here, which I love these shoes. I've got like three pairs of them, and they're fantastic shoes. But yeah, you don't want to be caught out here with uh, just no traction, Crocs, you know, stuff like that. You definitely want to have a comfortable shoe, good arch, you know, that can grip too. So, yeah, I definitely want walks like this across this type of terrain. A lot of ruts and sand, you know, gravel, things you can easily slip on. But yeah, we're, we're getting deeper into the forest now. And we're kind of at the base of Morrow Mountain. And there is a split off up ahead that will take you in a couple different directions. And we're going to do, I'm going to try to head towards the lake, the water area this time. Um, we didn't make it there last time, so I definitely want to see that part of pd river and um just see what it looks like over there we will continue on and when i'm out here i try to find unusual wood formations you know things that are symmetrically stacked or intentionally stacked um but most of the time you can tell if it's done by weather stuff like that wind age of the tree falling over things like that so but they've had found uh, structures like that out in these woods. So far, nothing. Now, the last time I was here, it was in this approximate location where I found the print on this old creek bed here. Looks like this old thing is covered by grass now. Um, but that was, of course, that wasn't here. But it was like along this ridge here that I found it. Um, so. Yeah, going up, and it looked like it was going down to the creek area. I just heard an animal over here crawling around. Sounds like great over there. Hmm. Okay. Kind of like he's crawling or something underneath that log. So we're heading up this hill. Nice little incline. You can hear the squirrels in the trees though. Getting their breakfast, getting their nuts and stuff and breaking them up. A lot of times they'll drop them too. That's why people get mistaken like something was thrown at them. It's probably a squirrel in the tree <laughs> getting a nut down from a, from a tree. So be aware of that too. Um, happens a lot. You get a lot of birds just getting on a, or a squirrel getting on a branch and branch comes tumbling down near you. You might think something's thrown at you. Raccoons do it, possum do it. So yeah, they'll, they'll be up in the trees dropping junk. So it's just little things like that you gotta kind of uh, factor out you know but there's a good chance that's probably what's happening <laughs> in most cases all right we continue on and through this cool little pathway here all these little pines here 
another marker there so they are well marked for your hiking um, B and C mark the Morrow Mountain Trails and Sugarloaf Trails back here in the back as we move forward into the woods and not too far ahead there should be a split off coming up to go down to the river so we'll probably hit that pretty soon I also like to have a walking stick for uh, you know if there's any critters even snakes you know they can that can help you probe a little bit get them out of the way if you're not quite sure but yeah if you see them <laughs> just try to avoid them altogether now this is the trail over here that will go around Morrow Mountain I've turned this one will go towards Petey River and should be there just in a little bit we will continue on so we can always come back grab that trail and uh, go back around Morrow Mountain I think the entire truck on that is three miles something like that so all right so we're gonna head down to the river and see what we can see okay so we continue our journey deeper into the woods and hopefully closer to the river but it is humid uh <laughs> yeah it'll definitely wear on you make sure you're, you bring enough uh, hydration you know water i've got two bottles of water i got my hip my hip uh packed with me so i've got uh some power bars in there too a banana and nut bar um i've got to eat gluten-free so those were gluten-free items so they do make those if you are gluten-free um but yeah you definitely want to keep hydrated do that occasional stop but yeah i love it out here it's beautiful out here it's a good walk for me burn some calories but also enjoy the views and uh just do some squatching too just for fun <laughs> you never know what you might see or encounter right now it's funny because i haven't seen any deer out here yet just saw that turtle um so far but um the only deer like i said earlier i just saw crossing the road there's a little family going across the road but they're out here they just know you're coming they can hear you they can smell you <laughs> they, they know you're coming all right we'll, we'll head down this way further so way out here <laughs> says site one so it's like real primitive camping out here if you want to bring your tent set up camp and it looks like they do have a fire pit right here at site one i'm assuming to let the boy scouts come up here and uh, do their camping learn how to camp set their campsite up and have their you know their tents all around here and uh be interesting to be out here at nighttime and camp all right we'll continue on maybe we'll run to site two right down the path so yep here is site two there's your fire pit right there got the big logs around it so you can sit around and enjoy the fire but right now they do have posted up no fires right now of course um it is very dry out here um with the heat going in the 90s so quickly it's just really dried out everything so yeah no fires right now a little structure down here i'm gonna check it out i'm not sure what that is so down here site three they do have another fire pit down there and yep it's an outhouse so <laughs> if you need to use the john they do have an outhouse up here um it's not your everyday plumbing of course it's going to be uh uh just like an outhouse <laughs> yeah we're gonna kind of stand clear of that and uh head down further getting closer to the lake
And sometimes when you're heading down the trail, you see all the slate, all the different rocks here. Sometimes you can find arrowheads. But a lot of times you won't. There are a lot of times I'll find them down in the creek. Down there. But some, yeah. All this different slate. Different types of rocks. A lot of granite. Uh, so, um, quartz. A lot of quartz. Because of you get a lot of the gold mines that were, were in this area at one time. And there's probably tons of gold still underneath here in this area. Most protected area, of course. State Park. Um, but usually when you see quartz, stuff like that, uh, you can be sure that there at one time was gold nearby. Chanting as you walk through here through the forest, yeah, just that feel to it. Like, I might see a fairy or a pixie or something running around, or a unicorn, or a Bigfoot. Nothing so far, <laughs> not even your average everyday squirrel. Yeah, <laughs> we're hiding out. Um. All right, we will continue. So we are out here pretty good. Um, huge loop that we're doing. And uh, I'll show you the lake too. And, uh, but it has a pretty good sized loop. There's two different trails. This one's a more moderate one that you can take. There is a strenuous one. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of going straight up. So, so I wanted to take it easy, not kill myself, especially in this heat. But yeah, it's really nice out here very peaceful very quiet I've passed a couple hikers on the trail so you have two, two ways you can do the loop so um, yeah so we're going clockwise or you can go counterclockwise I can guarantee you when the rain starts coming and it's torrential this creek bed becomes a small little river easily so but right now it's pretty calm I mean, there's nothing going on it's been dry for probably a good week and a half or so we've had no rain we do have a hurricane heading up the gulf coast head towards uh, louisiana and texas so i hope uh, they do well they say it might reach category four that would not be good for that area um we had tropical storm fred not too long ago it hit north carolina pretty good uh, a lot of flooding i mean that was like a stagnant storm that just sat there and just dumped rain and would not stop it seemed but the devastation was really bad it was off of i-40 um, kind of near Marion and Asheville between there and they get hit pretty good all right this is probably the only climb really <laughs> that's gonna hit on this trail so let's continue well my friends we finally made it to the PD River Lake Tillery area here 
you go. It's beautiful here. Some bo boats are pulled on the shore close to me. They're just chilling out on a summer day, swimming in uh, the river and in the lake. But yeah, uh, this is the Petey River. A lot of history here. At one time, a couple hundred years ago, up to about 1923, there was a ferry boat that would cross here. You catch the ferry here, go across the uh, Petey River, get on the other side before they had the bridge down the road going across. But yeah, they've had sightings of Mr. Squatch, Mr. Big the Foot along the river over here and on this side as well. Yeah, so it's a beautiful, beautiful area. And uh, yeah, if you're ever in North Carolina or have time to come down to Albemarle and go to Morrow Mountain, come on down here and see the uh, Petey River. Take a nice hike on the trails, get your exercise. Yeah, it's been a great day. We're gonna call it a day. I am hot, I am sweating. It's probably about 100% humidity. It's about 95 degrees, it's crazy hot. But it was fun getting here to Lake Tillery and Petey River and uh, our nice little excursion hike through the trails keep it hydrated time to get something to eat but uh yeah also bring some snacks with you too while you're on the trail so we, i did stop a few times to get snacks and all that good stuff so please like subscribe i appreciate you going with me you didn't have to uh take the hike and uh exhaust yourself so yeah you guys can go get lunch too all right you guys take care it was fun so please like and subscribe again and I appreciate everything you guys are doing out there. Whatever you're doing, keep safe, okay? You guys take care. Bye-bye.